This video is episode 7, Mixdown, of our Basic Mixing and Pro Tools series. Feel free to watch these videos individually or as a series. There is a link to the full series playlist in the description below. If you find these videos useful, please comment, like, and subscribe. Enjoy. Okay, in this video, we're going to mix down or bounce our project. This is the Bella's Bartok uh, Ode to Brekovich mix. So, there you go. So, we've got one of the big things to check is make sure that we've got headroom here. We're not clipping. We've got negative 1.4 dB of headroom. So, we could try to boost everything up just a teeny bit more if we wanted to. We'd have to deal with that automation that we did and making sure that got moved up too. So for for that little amount, keeping that negative 1.4 is not a big deal. So we'll just leave it like it is. If it was like two or three dB, then we'd go through some efforts to make sure to get things turned up and, and use more of that space that we have for sound. So anyways, our, our mix is pretty good here. We're happy with it, so we need to mix it down. So we're gonna go to our edit window, command equals, and it kind of differs in different programs. The main thing you're doing here is deciding when the start point is of your mix down to when your end point is. And in Pro Tools, it's all based on what your selection is, especially if your timeline and edit selection are linked, which is this button up here. Okay, but you can see the selection from here to there. Now, it doesn't matter which tracks are highlighted or selected. None of them actually have to be, we could just highlight up at the top. There we go. So we could just highlight up at the top so that no tracks are actually selected, but we're just defining these things right here when it starts and when it ends. So I'm gonna change the time scale to minutes and seconds. And we're gonna zoom in. And we're gonna just take this little blue arrow and adjust it. So that works for me right there. So that's 14 seconds. And if we hit W while we're in the A to Z mode, we can adjust this to we can see the end of our selection. So I'm gonna grab this and move it on. I know that uh, right here they say, you know, we got that. And so I wanna at least get that for right now. So I'm gonna go to there so I get all the decay. Actually, let me just check this real quick. Okay, so they're just talking and stuff like that. We could do a couple things. One, we could actually get rid of those three vocal tracks and see what happens. So let's see. There's a little cough sort of thing there. Let's go right before that. So one another thing that you can do is you can chop a trap a track down to be that start and end. And it's gonna do the same thing and have the, the blue arrows on the top and the bottom. So we're gonna hit Q to go back to the beginning. And rather than just select it up there, I'm gonna trim this trumpet part to be the length that I want. So that 14 for something. So you can see up there, I've got it. Now the easy thing for me to do is just all I have to do is select trumpet part and it's the same thing as going up here and trying to, to make that selection. I get the same result. I've selected from 14.4 to 3 minutes and 0.84 two thousandths of a second. So the two, 2 minutes and 46 seconds length. Okay, so now that I've selected my length I can bounce it to disk. So in Pro Tools, I'm gonna to go to File, Bounce to Disk, and then I'm going to adjust my settings to be where I want it to be. Now in this circumstance, we haven't done any mastering, and so we really wanna do a pre-master kind of mix. What I usually like to do is I always like to add the MP3, and then I have a mix down that I could listen to or give to somebody, as well as a full quality mix. So we're gonna 
change this to interleave so it's a stereo file and we're going to keep it as 24 bit 48 kilohertz and we're going to call it bella mix down one oftentimes i'll put the date on there and maybe in this circumstance i'd call it a pre master so pre dash m actually we're going to do that we're going to put pre dash m mix down there we go and it's automatically going to put it in the bounce files folder of my session. And then if I click on the offline, it will do it as fast as possible without us hearing it. Whereas if I leave the offline off, it's going to bounce it down in real time and we'll have to sit here and listen to it. Now that's good and bad for that. A lot of times I'll make sure to not do the offline, do the real time bounce so that I can have one last listen to it. And there's been many, many, many times that I've been doing that and I stop it because I'm like, oh, I gotta go back and fix something. I hear something I missed. So it's always good to have like a final check. I think we've listened to this enough that we can just let it go offline. So I'm gonna hit bounce and it's gonna bring up the MP3 window because that add MP3 box was checked. And what I like to do is just, I always do it the highest MP3 possible, which is 320 kilobits per second. And then you could put information here, but once again, this is not a finished master. So we just need a smaller file that can be shareable. So we'll hit OK. And it is bouncing it down. You can see that it's doing at seven point whatever or eight times the speed. It was eight at the moment, but it looks like 7.6 times as fast as real time. It's going to be a lot faster than two minutes and 46 seconds to do the mix down. There you go. And then. What we can do now is we'll go grab the finder window that has our session folder in it. So Bella mixing and you can look, there's bounced files and here's our two files that we just created. Here's our wave file, which is decent size, 48 megabytes because it's the 24 bit 48. And then here's our MP3, which is only 6.7 megabytes. So if we hit the space bar to audition it, And I always like to go through and check it. Okay, that worked. And then we'll go down to the other one and check it real quick. So it sounds like everything mixed down properly. So there we go. We have our two files. Now this one is ready to go to mastering. And this one is ready to share with somebody if need be. Okay. And there you go. There's your mix down. We hope you've learned some valuable information from our basic mixing and Pro Tools series. Mixing can obviously get way more complex than what we've demonstrated here. If you'd like more resources on mixing, please visit our website, thedawstudio.com. If you enjoyed this series, please join us for more advanced mixing videos in the future by subscribing to our channel. I'm Ben from thedawstudio.com, and thanks again for watching.